Hi everyone, happy Friday! We made it! Another Friday, another week. How's everybody doing? We're going to make another cute fun fold today. We're also using the textured floral. We're continuing on Wednesday's fun. So we're using the same stamp set we did on Wednesday in the glitter pit. You might want to go back and watch that video for those cards. I'll show you those cards here in a little bit. But we're going to use this stamp set and we'll make an, an easel card out of this stamp set with these beautiful flowers. Since it is summer, right? So let me go ahead and flip this over. Actually, I'll put you guys in picture in picture. I think that works. Yep, there you go. All right. Yay. All right, so here are the host codes for this week. We still have this one going on my website here. For 30 days, we go for um, the small gift. If you place an order and you want to use the host code, get a free gift, you can use this one. Now for the card kit from Wednesday, this is that host code. So if your order is at least $35 and you want to use this host code for that card kit, which these are for those stamp sets. Or this host code is for these cards in a card kit. So you'll get these cards in a card kit using that textured floral bundle. Okay. So all those details are on Wednesday's video. So just go back another video on YouTube. All right. So there's those host codes. Now this is a really beautiful easel card. So it closes shut like this. So you can see the lemon lolly showing through it. And then when you open it, you're going to have your lemon lolly cardstock right there. I think I got some glue on there. Hold on. Let me scrape that off there. Comes off pretty easy. All right. And then this part folds forward. So you can see it's a longer card, but then this one folds up and then the easel part, it just sits up behind that card. And of course you can't see it the way it's sitting up, but it sits up like this. So whoever receives this card gets the birthday greeting and then every thought of you makes me smile. Isn't that sweet? And those, both of those greetings are in the stamp set, the textured floral. Beautiful stamp set. I'm addicted. I love it. And it also has a coordinating die too. So let's go ahead and get all our pieces. We're going to make this card. Now I did do the, the die cutting of the blossoms and the leaves and of course the greetings. But I'm going to show you exactly what I did, alright? I just love it the way it sits up. So cute. And I'll have more up close pictures on my website as well as on the PDF. So if you want the PDF, go down to the description box and the link should be there. Or there's a link to go to my website to get it, alright? So then you just fold it up and then that's the card on how you mail it. Beautiful. So there is a lot of space to write your message right here too. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So you're going to need a piece of thick basic white cardstock. I have all my pieces here cut out. And we're going to use these beautiful iridescent rhinestones. I absolutely love them. You get those, not the whole package. You get a strip of them for your card kit from Wednesday too in that kit. All right, so we have our birthday greetings. Now, these are cut out from the stylish shapes. This one I used the, excuse me, one, two, three, fourth circle from the smallest for the birthday blooms to you right here. Okay? And then the largest little banner die is what I used for every thought of you makes me smile. It fits on there perfectly. I love it. And then you're just going to pop that up on dimensionals. Let me go ahead and do that while we're just sitting here going through all the layers. I'll just pop this piece up on two dimensionals. And then this one, I'm going to put the dimensionals on the card after we make it. All right. So we're going to need the thick basic white. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11. And we're going to score this. And then you're going to need seven pieces of your basic white. You don't need the thick for this. Just the standard basic white. Seven pieces cut at a half inch by four and a quarter, okay? And then a piece of lemon lolly, which is cut at three and one eighth by four and a quarter. And then these are the die cuts. So let's start there. Let's start with the stamping of these little blossoms here because this is a two-step stamp set. For those of you that love the two-step stamp sets, which I do love two-step, it takes two images to complete um, the finished image. So like this is the stem for the blossom and then you have the flowers here. I know it doesn't look like anything like that, does it? <laughs> Looks kind of weird. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our inks. I've got the two stamps on a block already, and I'm gonna use the Lemon Lolly Classic Ink. And I also use the Costa Cabana for my other blossom right here. So it's Lemon Lolly in Costa Cabana, and then the Granny Apple Green for the stems, and then also the leaves. I cut out with the Granny Apple Green cardstock, okay? Now let me get my scrap. I thought I brought some over here. Yep, right here. Ooh, I'm prepared. It's a miracle. <laughs> All right, so what I found is that it's a little bit easier for me to stamp the stems first, but if you like to stamp the flowers first and then the stems, it's totally up to you. So my recommendation or my tip for stamping the stems is making sure that you stamp the stem part down here straight. So let me show you. So you're gonna ink it up with the green apple green and then stamp this. I know you tend to, you, you want a tendency, you wanna to go to that curve, like stamp it like this, but don't. Stamp it straight up and down like that. I'm gonna stamp two. Okay? And then you're gonna take your flower. Now the little flower up at the top, maybe I can show you better on the stamp set. This flower right here is at the top, which you can see by the way the stem and the flowers are on the stamp set case. That's the way you're gonna stamp it, okay? So you're gonna take your, I'm gonna move this greeny apple green before I stamp in it instead of the lemon lolly, because that would be a mess. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stamp my smaller flower towards the top and then you're gonna ink that up. I'm going to really try to line this up pretty good with my head, trying not to get my head in the camera. All right, so you're going to put this, and you're going to line that, that. Now, this flower, I feel like, is wanting to turn a little bit, and then just stamp it down. And it is a photopolymer stamp set, so you can line it up really good. But look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? And then look, the die, that's why I was saying you don't want to curve that stem because it won't line up with the die. Here it is. But then when you put the die on, it lines up perfectly. Just like that. Okay? So let me show you again. So you're going to take your stamp. And like I said, it's photopolymer, so you can see... This one, I feel like with the stem, it's a little bit easier just to do it straight, thinking the stem piece down here. Just keep that straight. Don't curve it because it's already curving. But with the flowers, I can see the green underneath the stamp, so I'm wanting to turn it. Let me pull this a little bit closer. I want to turn it a little bit more to fit. So pretty. Definitely looks like spring and summer, doesn't it? I just love it. All right, so then you would go ahead and die cut that and then also stamp another one with your Costa Cabana, which I've already done, and then die cut out your Granny Apple Green. Okay, so I've already done that. Now let's get our paper trimmer and let's do this card base. All right, so let's move this up here. All right, so on your 11-inch side, I'm going to open this up here. We're going to score it at 2 and 3 eighths. Can you see this? Yeah. Okay, so on the 11-inch side, you're going to score it at 2 and 3 eighths, and that's the eighth mark right before the 2 and a half. So can you see that right there? 2 and 3 eighths, score it. And then slide it down to seven and seven eighths, which is the seven eighths is the eighth mark right before the eight. Right there. Oh, don't cut. Got to score. So you're basically making a gatefold card, but not your typical gatefold card like we did last week with uh, the baby card. Remember that? But this card is going, well, I guess you could make it go like this. Like this to make a gift card holder like that okay so this is your gatefold but it's a little bit bigger on this side than this side this is the top of our card the smaller end and then this is the thick basic white so make sure your 
folding that really, really good. So you can see here, we have the, the smaller end is the top of the card right here, okay? So now this piece is where you're gonna put your three and an eighth by four and a quarter piece of lemon lolly, and that should cover that whole piece of basic white, which is the flap that's going through the, the trellis of your card. Sometimes this card is called a trellis card, a lattice card. I even wrote down a pallet because it kind of looks like a pallet. If you guys have ever worked in a warehouse and you guys know what I'm talking about, a pallet, you know, like a wood pallet, it kind of looks like that too. So this card could be called a lot of different things. Let me get my liquid glue. Liquid glue for this card is going to be your best friend. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to glue our lemon lolly down on this piece. Lemon, uh, not lemon, but the... The liquid glue is going to be really forgiving on this card. So if you have to adjust it, especially for the lattice or the trellis part of the card. And then I think I did cut this a little bit bigger just so that you guys know I like to cut a little bit bigger. Oh, maybe I didn't. It looks pretty good. Maybe on this side I did. We'll just cut that at the very end if I end up doing that. All right. So now you can see the card. So it's going to go like this. Okay. Now we're going to take our seven pieces, we're going to use five of them for the, the trellis part. And then these are going to be for the tracks that are going to hold the trellis together. So what you're going to do here is I'm going to put glue on one end. I'm going to take that and then what you're going to do is on the end that doesn't have the glue, you're going to line this up at the bottom of the card. Okay, and then you're going to close your card. Remember me saying that the liquid glue is very forgiving? So you can move that around, center it in the card. Remember, you're going to be putting two of these on your card. So one's over towards the left, right there. And then the other one is going to be over towards the right. So once again, we're going to put a little glue at the top. And then line the bottom edge up and then glue that down. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now your card looks like this. <laughs> I know. It looks weird. All right. Now we're going to take our five pieces of our trellises. Now we're going to flip this over here. We're going to kind of work on both sides because I'm going to put the glue on this side. Because I'm going to put the glue on the, the tracks, I guess, is what we're going to call this, right? So we got that on the back side. And then we're going to take one of our pallets here. We're going to put this right at the very bottom edge of your lemon lolly. I'm going to put my finger right here to hold this while I close it. And then that should stick right to that bottom section right there. So now we're building the whole front of our card with the layers. The only drawback with the liquid glue is you just gotta hold it for just a couple seconds. Okay? And then you're gonna take another palette and then on your next, you're just gonna kinda estimate because you're gonna have a little bitty gap between your palettes like this. So it's much easier to put the glue on your tracks, your two tracks, and then take your palette and just kind of line it up with the last edge of the previous palette that we put on. You can, of course, close it and make sure it lines up. See how it lines up really good down here? But you do have a little bit of a gap there. And you don't think you're going to have enough space, but it ends up working out perfect. I don't know how it does it, but it does. Okay, so I've just put a little dab of glue on the end. See there on the tracks? And then take your next palette. Line it up with the last one. And then make sure there's a little gap in between there. And again, I'm working from the back side of the card. So you can close it to get that lined up really nice. But I think if you just keep it lined up here on the edges, you're going to do good. So then we're going to put a little bit more glue. 
I'm seriously just eyeballing it. Then your next palette. That looks pretty good. Let me close it and see. Yep, look how cute it's looking. Ooh, I love it. All right, and then the last one. A little bit of glue. I'm going to put that on there. Now, if there's still like too big of a gap, or if you want a more precise, I think you might have a little time to adjust the last couple of them because with the liquid glue, you got a little bit of time. That actually looks really good. All right, now what I'm going to do up here too is I'm going to glue because I only put a little bit of glue to hold the panels, the tracks. So I'm going to put a little bit more glue at the, at the base because remember, I put it more at the top. Now I'm putting it more at the base of that cut part of the card just to make it more stable a little bit. Ooh, I put too much glue on that. Yikes. Get this baby white. Ooh, I put way too much glue. Okay. So I'm going to close that. Yikes. That was oozing all over the place. All right, I'm just gonna leave that open really quick just to make sure that dries flat there. All right, okay, so the trellis part of the card is done, right? All right, now I'm gonna let that dry. We're gonna go ahead and decorate this part in here. We're gonna take that easel part, every thought of you makes me smile. We're gonna put that towards the bottom of this flap right here. Remember, this has got dimensionals on it, so it picks it up and stands up the back part of the card. So it's got that little lip there, a little edge, okay? And then, of course, you can take the card and kind of do like a dry run with it to see how you like it to set up like that. You can just kind of play around with how you want it to set up. Do you want to set it up more like really set it up, like where it's really vertical like this? Or you like it more of an angle? I like mine more of it at an angle like this. Can you see that from the side? Probably not very good. Okay, now we're going to decorate the front. We're going to take our leaves. And I'm going to put glue. Making sure now you're going to want to put your leaves so they're the inside of the card. I'm saying that because you don't want them to hang over because this is a regular size card front. So it will fit into a regular envelope. So I'm going to put some liquid glue right here. And then I'm just going to position my leaves so they're inside of the card. Like right about there looks good. And then take the next cluster a little bit of glue there and have this one turn to the left a little bit okay and then you can go back and kind of place your glue on your leaves where you want to just spot glue it to the lattice part or to the pallets and you can also use liquid glue oh I just pulled that off my fingers are so sticky <laughs> oh my gosh Let me wipe my fingers off. Sticky, sticky. Normally it's not sticky like that because I did that palette and it was like, ooh, it just oozed out everywhere. Okay. So you just go through and you spot glue, you know, your leaves. But you're also putting the flowers over this, so there shouldn't be an issue with keeping that down. Okay, and then you're going to take your, oh, I'm going to put the glue on the lattice, that's right. So I'm going to put my first bunch of flowers right about there. Making sure to always glue onto your lattice part or your palette because you don't want that to glue over to the back side of the card. And I'm making this with two pieces to make it look like it's one big long blossom here. What are these flowers anyway? 
I know I see them, but I just couldn't tell you what the name of them are. Isn't that pretty? Just like that. And then the little splash of color with the... Do I want to put a dimensional on this? Maybe not. A little splash of the Costa Cabana is really nice. And this is pretty much going to go over top of the yellow flowers. Like that. Okay. And then my birthday blooms. I'm going to take dimensionals. And you're going to position this. You're going to eyeball where you want it. I'm going to put it right about here. So I'm going to put my dimensional on these two palettes right here. Birthday blooms to you. Isn't that pretty? And then they would open it up. And then this would sit up like that. Oh, I love it. Can you even see from the side? Let me see if I can just hold it a little bit. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. All right, and then one more thing. We're going to put these iridescent rhinestones on them. We're going to put three of them along the top. I think I'm using like the medium size. Two along the top and then one down at the bottom. So pretty. And then here's the other one. Isn't it great? It's a really cute fun fold. It pops up. And it sits up like this. All right. If you guys have any questions, let me know. That's what I'm here for. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like today's video. And then don't forget to check out the glitter pit from, la from not last week, but yesterday. Or third Wednesday. <laughs> from Wednesday. And then I'll see you guys in the glitter pit next Wednesday at 3 o'clock 